Hi Leo, welcome back. My twin sister and I are twin oracles here on YouTube. Thank you all very much for being here, for sharing, for liking, for subscribing, for commenting. Um, thank you all to those of you that also hit that notification bell. That way you do not lose our channel and you're advised of all of our upcoming uploads. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Leo, we will be today utilizing the Neoteric Feminine Tarot for those of you that are interested in knowing that information. All right, and this will be a general reading for you, Leo. So if you hear me saying he, him, she, they, it, you, etc., reverse the roles where need be. It may or may not resonate. Uh, don't force it if it doesn't fit. Um, parts of it might resonate. None of it might resonate or all of it may, re may resonate, okay? So just be open to hearing the messages that you need to hear. Leo, this is also a timeless reading. It is our intention that whenever you watch this video, whether it be today, tomorrow, a year from now, four years from now, it does not matter. Our intention is that whenever you watch this video, that's when it will most resonate with you. Leo, how is life treating you? Are you receiving your dreams and desires made manifest in your reality? We hope so. We hope God is blessing you. And with that being said, God, we want to thank you for each and every minute of each and every day. We thank you for waking up today. Not everyone did. We are grateful for all of our blessings, big and small. Please let Leo know what they need to know, what they need to hear to help them be on their highest path for, possible for their highest well-being. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. What do we have for Leo? Let us hop into your reading, Leo. What is popping? Leo, 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 Leo. If you are watching this during your birthday month, happy birthday to you. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the strength card. This is you, Leo. This is you coming into your power, you coming into your strength, your fortitude, and you be, being able to make heart over um, mind decisions. Leo, I feel as though some of you are in a very, very generous state of mind right now in your life. You want to help other people. You would like to bestow blessings upon other people. For some of you, you could be a humanitarian or you could be dealing with a humanitarian or you could be um, conversing with a humanitarian wanting to become a humanitarian, okay? Um, the six of pentacles here can represent um, giving and receiving the equal balance and the equal reciprocity between the two um, and knowing how to give, knowing how to receive, knowing when to give and knowing when to receive. So, you know, perhaps people are bes bestowing blessings upon you and, you know, maybe you're very quick to give it back in return. You know, and sometimes that can be a sign of unworthiness when we're eagerly giving back to the universe. Like the universe gives us something with one hand and we take that and we give it back to someone else. It could be a sign of unworthiness, right? It's like you're bestowed with a blessing and you're like, well, I don't deserve this. Here you go. And you just send it away. So watch out for that if that does resonate with you. Others of you, it could be that perhaps you have a hard time giving. Okay, so see which side of the scale most resonates with you. What else do we have going on for Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo. I see that you're wanting to help others. You're helping others. Others of you, you could be helping um, a child I'm seeing here, or you might want to help someone from the past, or you want to help, but you don't know how to help. So you're kind of, you're kind of going back and forth. It's like, I want to help, but I don't know how. 
I want to help, but I'm not fit for this job. Um, you know, I want to help, but I'm not good enough. I can't do this. What else do we have for Leo? Right, so you have the King of Swords, but it came out, you know, could go either way in the upright or in the reverse. So you're, you're waffling back and forth mentally. You're really stuck within the mind, feeling unworthy, feeling um, not good enough, I want to say. And, and being very much so within the mind rather than being in the heart space. What else do we have for Leo? Interesting that you the reading opens with six and six, so you have sixty six. Some of you could be sixty six years old. What else for Leo here? There's something that you're trying to juggle. It's like you're trying, perhaps for some of you, you're trying to juggle your finances and you're trying to help someone as well. You're having a hard time juggling two things here. For sure, it's two things. You know, it's like maybe you have to help someone in need. And at the same time, you have other responsibilities that you need to tend to or take care of. You're juggling two different things and it's trying to find that balance, that equilibrium between the two, trying to to um, you know, get your mindset around it. What else for Leo? How many cards are here? Okay, we'll take them. There's five cards, we'll take them. There's something here about making the right decision. Okay, so you have the Nine of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with someone that is single or you could be dealing with someone that makes the decision to want to be single and maybe you're helping them out because now they're going to be single so now they need help. Others of you, again, it's, you know, you're, you're, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. You're trying to juggle two things at once. And I did mention like finances, you know, maybe needing to juggle finances here. To juggle your finances, but to juggle helping someone in need. So along with the nine of pentacles, you have the nine of cups. So again, you have 99. So you have 66 opening the reading here and 99. So there's something to be said here about these synchronistic numbers. It's like you're coming into some kind of mastery. There's some kind of wish fulfillment coming in for you, Leo. Expect the best. The best is yet to come. I don't know what this is, but I feel like somehow, some way, some shape or form, you're coming into some kind of time of celebration. It's a celebratory moment that you're coming into. Some of you, wow, goodness gracious, some of you can really be, you know, tipping the scales financially with the six of pentacles here along with uh, the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment and this is, you know, being financially independent, financially wealthy on your own here. So a lot of you with the combination of these three cards, the six of pentacles, nine of pentacles and the nine of cups, you could be coming into some kind of financial gain, could be coming into winning the lottery, um, you know, winning in bingo, winning in some way, shape or form here. So, you know, make some wishes and expect them to be granted. It could also have something to relate, related to health as well, um, but it's reaping your harvest, reaping your rewards, wish fulfillment. Okay, there's something beautiful here. Next, you have the Five of Cups. This is interesting to have this though, because it's like you have some form of regret, some regret from the past. Maybe you feel like you didn't treat people in your past um, that well or as good as you as would as you would have liked to, perhaps a child. Um, you know, maybe you helped one but not the others, or you didn't treat your child or your children well, if you're a mom. There's some kind of regret here and has something to do with the past with the Six of Cups. 
you know, thinking about past memories here and feeling guilty over those past memories, feeling pain, sorrow, sadness, depression for some of you. Some of you could be depressed over something. Oh my goodness. Yeah, some of you could be depressed over something. There's something that's really hurting you. Painful. There's something painful going on. Maybe some of you are helping a child in need and it's a painful situation. Maybe they're sick. Maybe they're in a hospital. Maybe they've been there for five or six months or five or six weeks. Wow. This is heartache. You know, this could you be you be feeling depressed over the past, you know, regretting, feeling some kind of pain within your heart over the way that you treated someone or over the way you handled something or did something here. Oh my goodness, then you have the Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, you do have a child here or someone in your life or a loved one or a family member or a friend, someone that is in the hospital, it could be, or they're sick or they're dealing with some kind of um, of illness, you know, and you're there helping them. Can I get one more card for these last three cards? Clarification for these last three cards. Oh, this is like a heavy energy. One more card. What is the Five of Cups, Three of Swords, and this Queen of Pentacles? Or maybe someone has regrets about you or they see you in a different way and you feel bad because you don't want to be seen this way with that person. Nine of Wands. It feels like whatever this situation is, it could be coming to an end. You know, I'm really seeing that God is definitely here. And I see that this, whatever this painful situation is coming to an end, God is working through this person, working through this event, working through this experience. And this person, whoever is having this hardship or this, you know, this health concern, they're going to very quickly, through God, be leaped into a period of healing. Okay, so don't lose hope. Keep going. Keep your faith. Persevere. Keep going. This is coming to an end. God's got this and God is going to propel whoever is suffering um, into a better state of health, into a spontaneous remission as well. So hold on to your power. Know the best is yet to come. It's easy to worry. It's easy to be scared, of course, but just know that God is working through this person um, and this person is very much so protected, okay? So if you are concerned about someone um, and their health, and of course this is going to be different for everyone, but if you're concerned about someone and their health, hang in there. You know, God's got this. God's got this. If God is for you, who can be against you? No one. God is the most high. God is the ultimate. You know, make sure that you keep your prayers nice and tight. Make sure you keep praying to God. And, you know, be sure that you're putting your faith in God wholeheartedly, knowing like you know, like you know, that God will fulfill your wishes and make your dreams come true, okay? All right, Leo, next we're going to hop into um, the Ascending Life Oracle. How can we move you to higher highs? How can we move you to higher highs? All right, sorry about that. I just had to have my sip of tea. Okay, so we start off with a few cards. All right, first you have time off, okay? So because you've been working so hard, because you have been helping someone, um, you've been caught between two things again. Don't forget juggling this and juggling that. And comment down below, what, what is it that you're, you're juggling? Um, you know, how is it, what is it pertaining to where you're stuck in between a rock and a hard place here? You know, because what I'm seeing is 
you are stuck in between a rock and a hard place. You're juggling. You're trying to um, oversee all your responsibilities and help someone in the meantime as well. And so you are being asked to take some time off because you are being um, stretched too thin. So, you know, take a bath, read a book, um, you know, go to the library, go for a walk. Meditate, pray, however it is you connect, you're being asked to reconnect here, okay? Because you're, you're really... Um, spreading yourself too thin and also you want to make sure that you heal yourself right because if you're helping someone through something that does affect you of course as well and you want to make sure that your health is well looked after you know when you look at the time off and when you look at the star card you know this can talk about healing as well so you may have things that you are requiring to heal as well leo okay so make sure that you are taking that time out to even heal from this you know painful situation here whatever it is heal your traumas that you're going through while helping someone else and taking care of your responsibilities as well um bridge i feel like god's got this you know good things again so you have the star card and the star card here connects the six of pentacles with the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups here okay so this can talk about wealth this can talk about literally becoming a star public recognition um you know even being on um on a platform on the internet in some way shape or form so as you can see i mentioned here the nine of cups is the wish fulfillment card and on this card it literally says wish fulfillment and blessings okay so you can be a youtuber on um on some kind of a platform and you're being recognized you're being seen okay so don't lose hope god's got you god's got this situation he will um bring you on a new phase of life and whoever is going through some kind of um health concern um God will make sure that they are looked after as well, okay? So just hold your faith and keep things light. When you're going through such a difficult phase in your life, oh my goodness, and for some of you have gone through it for five or six months already, okay? This is very hard. It is not easy, okay? But when you go through such a hard phase, sometimes it's easy to lose hope. Sometimes it's easy to lose faith. Sometimes you even sacrifice your own health, okay? And... You know, God sees all, God knows all, God knows this person that's in pain, that's suffering, that is going through some kind of, you know, health condition, um, and God will take care. So hold true, get more confident, more stable with your um, spiritual practice, whatever it is, and that will help uplift you, okay? Whether it is praying, whether it is meditating, um, however it looks and feels to you, reconnect with yourself, reconnect with God, reconnect with the Most High, and, you know, surrender this to God and expect that God will look after this for you, okay? Leo, my goodness, this is heavy. What are you going through? Please comment down below. We wish you nothing but love and blessings. Now, some of you, you could be single here. Um, and so you could be waiting to meet someone. Others of you, um, you or someone else in your life could be um, going through some kind of separation. Maybe they're going through a divorce and maybe you're helping them through that. There's someone that's here that's waiting for the right moment to maybe end a relationship, waiting for the right moment to, um, you know, initiate a separation of some sort. But God is working through someone here, okay? Whether it's you or someone else, God is working through someone here. Um, if someone is ill, God is working through them. God is working through their mind. God is working through their heart. Um, you know, have faith and trust and you know, regain your faith and your hope, rekindle that hope, that faith that you have in God, okay? 
God's got this. God knows all. God sees all. And there's no one stronger than God. Okay? Surrender to God. The, uh, you can't make this stuff up. Higher power. Okay? Higher power. Aligning with your higher self. Connected to spirit. On the path of the divine. So I really feel like God is going to bless you. And God is going to bless your loved ones. Those around you. God is going to bless you and all the loved ones in your life. Choose God. Put God first. Reconnect with God. Put God first and foremost in the forefront. Okay? God is almighty. God's got this. God presented himself in this reading, herself in this reading. God is here to say, I've got this. And I've got you. I've got this and I've got you. Make your wish list. Okay? This is wish fulfillment. God's like, I got you. So make your wishes and expect for them to come true. Your dreams and your desires. Expect them to be made, made manifest. As hard as this is, expect that God will handle this situation. Give it up to the higher power. Give it up to God. Surrender it to God. And you have the world here. Again, some of you could be world-renowned for something um, on a social media platform in some way shape or form there is something coming to an end of something coming to a fulfillment one door is closing so another one can open and you know whoever is struggling here that too will come to an end that too shall pass that too shall pass luck is in your favor luck is coming towards you that too shall pass. Whatever this hardship is, this too shall pass. Keep repeating that, okay? So next you have secrets. I'm feeling that, you know, here I'm picking up someone wants to leave someone, but they're keeping it a secret until the right time. They're waiting before they speak up. God's asking them to wait and to keep this a secret. God's saying, you know, before you end this out, just wait, hold on, and move in silence. Move in silence. There are some people here that if you tell them that you're leaving someone, they will try to sabotage it. And they will say, well, no, that doesn't look good. What are other people going to think? You should give it another chance. You know, there's someone that's heartbroken here. Someone just went through hell and back. Still going through it, you or someone else. Comment down below who this is for you going through it hell and back and you know you want to leave someone here because god told you god showed you the truth you saw the truth and you know if you speak the truth and say i need to leave someone other people are going to sabotage this and say oh no that person deserves a chance meanwhile this person is the devil incarnate <laughs> right like why why would you want to continue to stay with that person Right? So it's someone's almost reaching the end here, but God is saying, move in silence. Don't tell people your moves because not everyone will have your best interest and there will be someone or some people that will try to block it. Now, you have the travel card. Um, you know, I see you once you or the other person goes through this healing or comes out of whatever this hardship is, you know, and once they do proceed and move forward with this separation or this divorce, However that manifests, they or you are going to want to have a getaway. Like you're just going to be like, I need to get away. And you're going to get away and be with um, a loved family member. Someone that perhaps maybe in the past, you know, you didn't, maybe like you, you had a great relationship with this person in the past. Then something happened um, where people meddled in your business between, you know, brother and sister, sister and sister, someone got into your business between the two of you. And then there was like a separation where you were no longer talking. Well, now you are going to want to be with this person because you know how much they love you and you know how much you love them. There's this mutual love that you have for each other and you cannot live without this person and this person cannot live without you. It could be more than one person as well. So 
you know, when all is said and done, you're going to want to get away. You're going to want to need to get away. Um, you need to going to need to go away. You're going to see the truth. You're going to know things for what they are. You know, God is really working through you here. The hair font is at the bottom of the deck. And, I, you know, I see this as God. God is working through you. God is working through this situation. Have faith. Um, you know, God will propel you into a new reality, into a higher dimension. God will give you the healing that you're looking for, a spontaneous remission, if that is what you're looking for. Um, God has shown you um, to end um, a certain situation or a certain cycle. That will happen too. And when that is done, you will want to have a getaway with someone that you love dearly. And it could be a sibling, you know, childhood. It could be a friend that you've known from childhood. Take it how it resonates. It will be different for each and every one of you, Leo. Okay? So, Leo, we love you very, 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 very much. We hope this video resonated with you. We hope that you got something from this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you for sharing this video. When you're watching this video, if someone came to your mind, please do share this video with them. They need to hear these messages. You never know when you can help someone with one word or one or one sentence pass it along if it resonates for you to do so if your intuition is asking you to do so um, thank you for hitting that bell and thank you for liking this video upon exiting we will see you in the next one and we love you thank you very much good luck with everything you have got this leo we love you bye for now